Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Olayenka Fadansi, Communications Manager for the U.S. Public Finance and Healthcare Group. Standard & Poor's has downgraded the state of Illinois to A with a negative outlook. Here to explain the reasoning behind the downgrade and the prospects for Illinois' rating is Robin Prenti, Managing Director and Analytical Manager for the State and Local Government Ratings Group. Welcome to the show, Robin. Thanks, Ola. So Robin, we're going to start off with the first question. Um, Illinois has been in the single A category and on negative outlook for some time. Uh, what's the main impetus behind the downgrade? Yeah, the negative outlook was assigned uh, in January 2011. And more recently, the two things that we were focused on as it relates to the outlook was the fiscal 2013 budget and whether or not they were going to you know, align current revenues and expenditures. And the second thing that we focused on was their pension system. Uh, there was a range of reforms that have been considered over the last couple of years, and we were really looking um, you know, at what actions would be taken this year to address the uh, pension system. So uh, we did say at the time that lack of action on both could translate to up to a two-notch downgrade. Uh, on the budget front, there was a lot of progress in our view. They, the legislature, the budget enacted by the legislature actually cut spending more than what the governor's recommended budget um, had included. They implemented Medicaid reform. Uh, they fully funded their statutory contribution to the pension system for the first time in two years. Uh, the prior years they had issued bonds for that. And uh, we think the revenue forecast is reasonable and in line with their current you know, economic performance. So on the budget uh, front, they are forecasting, at least at this time, a surplus. Granted, they still have a very significant accumulated problem. And while they plan to take action on some of their accumulated deficit, it really is going to depend on whether or not they hit their revenue and expenditure estimates. Uh, but on the pension front, there was a range of proposals, as I mentioned, uh, and we were focused on uh, you know, where uh, they were going to uh, adjust the pension system in terms of reform. And the regular session ended without any action. A special session was called in August, and there was no action. And I think our view is that it will be difficult to, um, we don't expect action for the rest of this year. The entire legislature is up for re-election uh, in November. So we think the prospects are pretty slim for action. So we've talked a lot about pensions so far. And uh, in our recent public pension survey, we identified Illinois as one of the bottom five uh, underfunded plans in the, in the nation. Uh, what are Illinois specific pension challenges? Yeah, so as you mentioned, I, I mean, the, the most fundamental problem is just a chronic underfunding of their pension contributions. The funded ratio is 43% as of 2011, so it is, uh, you know, as U.S. states go, the lowest uh, from a funded ratio standpoint. And I think, you know, they have the issues that every other state experienced in terms of investment loss, which certainly, uh, you know, weakened uh, the pension system. And there's been a lot of discussion about where Illinois fits in with the rest of the states. So we've recently revised the outlook on New York uh, to positive and stable, and we did the same uh, with California's rating earlier in the year. Which other states currently have a negative outlook? Uh, right now there's only two, Illinois and Pennsylvania. And we only have two states that are in the A category. Uh, and as you mentioned, California, while it has currently a lower rating at A-, minus, we have a positive outlook on California. Illinois at the A currently carries a negative outlook. All right, Robin, thanks for your perspective on this issue. Thanks. So for an in-depth analysis of Illinois' credit profile, please read the full report by visiting the Related Content tab next to this video. That concludes this edition of Credit Matters TV, and thank you for joining us.